Okay, uh, our weekly updates about AI for August 2nd. And as you see, there are a lot of news, um, a lot of updates. So uh, first update is that Google finally got the first place in the CrowdSource Arena leaderboard. And they did it with the latest uh, Gemini 1.5 Pro experimental release which they haven't provided the specs yet and exactly what they did differently in this particular model. Because Gemini 1.5 uh, Pro was actually released in May, but it was not like on the first place. So whatever happened, uh, this model was on the arena for about a week and it got the first place. So it is a multi-model uh, model and it got first place uh on both overall and vision uh, leaderboards right so it's available on lms ch chatbot arena it's available on gemini api and google ai studio um, well i didn't check it out via api but the documentation is qu quite quite simple and if you go here so you will see doc documentation you will see uh, how to run it with, with python and, and so on. So it's uh, easy to do. Uh, next, we have GPT 4.0. Then we have Meta Llama 3.1.4.5. Then we have Claude Sonnet. And then again, Meta Llama 3.1. Uh, again, GPT 4. Athene 70B. It's actually Llama 70B. And, uh, and, and so on. Anyway, this is for English only queries. Uh, and this is for coding. So for coding, the first place is still Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So if you're using, uh, doing coding, this is the, the model to use. Although you see Meta Llama 3.1 for 5 also doing good. Uh, next, I want to draw this uh, comparison. Uh, many, many years ago, on the same planet, not in the galaxy far, far away, but many years ago, like 50 something years ago, we had mainframes and we had dumb terminals which were talking to the mainframe. But then things change in the 80s and 90s and now we have uh, personal computers, mobile devices, laptops. So the calculations moved from central server to let's call them edge devices, personal devices. Uh, similar uh, is happening now with large language models. So in 2022, when uh, ChatGPT was released, it was on the servers or on the cloud. But now we see uh, many more models which can be run locally. And in fact, the local models today are better than, much better in fact, than the original cloud models and uh, they may be even better than current cloud models and at the same time they are small and they are running they can run on your phone or on your laptop so you don't need a powerful uh, electricity consuming and noisy machine anymore and this is uh, quite quite impressive uh, so th 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 that's the vision and that's what uh, Mark Zuckerberg was uh, telling that uh, Meta Llama 3.5 model, uh, open source release, it's kind of inflection point. So there are things before and after. And they released the models, the data, the code, and they also released a lot of tools how to use those models and customize them to particular needs. So in fact, it's a big revolution and big transition uh, from a centralized model, uh, I mean, centralized serving of the model to the local. And local is not only cheaper, but it's also much faster, much more convenient, uh, much more secure. There are many benefits of having a personal computer versus computer somewhere in different state. Uh, many um, other news. So Google 1.5 Flash in Gemini. So it's a free, better quality responses. This is for interactive uh, Google offering. Uh, Grok 2 should be released this month, uh, we will see. And the next Grok 3 is being trained and it should be released somewhere by the end of the year. And of course, Elon Musk uh, saying that it will be the best model, we'll see. Uh, JP Morgan has built its own AI chatbot that acts like a research analyst. And they are saying that they are not relying on OpenAI or any other centralized model 
so I guess it's a local model. Uh, Interlip Gen AI automates up to 90% of your customer interactions and delivers ROI inside 90 days. So this is the website and uh, they, uh, yet another AI startup, they raised $140 million. More, mixture of agents. This is a great um, uh, video from Matt Bergman. Uh, who is not muted? Please mute yourself. Uh, who is not muted? Okay, everybody is muted, good. Uh, so Matthew Berman uh, showed how to use a mixture of agents uh, on Grok. And uh, th this is really great because before people were using something like that, using, uh, let's say, link chain and you have to program, but now it's part of the interface. You just uh, select, uh, for example, uh, this structure with three layers and which model with which parameters you run in each layer. And suddenly you have a mixture of experts, uh, of agents, sorry. Uh, a structure which uh, behaves much better than one separate agent by, by, by itself. Um, you know, uh, chain of thought, a trio of thought, all these different um, architectures which improve the original model, they now can be offered by a model as a standard feature. And in fact, you see that um, all models um, getting more and more standard features, like for example, talking to the model, audio interface, all major models now offer that. All of them can read texts and uh, do summaries or even do like analyze videos for you. Okay. Uh, Next, uh, California legislation, uh, SB, whatever, safe and secure innovation. Uh, so they're requiring developers to certify under pen penalty of perjury that um, identify specific tests and test results that would be sufficient to provide reasonable assurance covered model derivatives do not pose an unreasonable risk of causing or enabling critical harm. So they want developers of the model to assure that derivatives of their model will not be harmful, which nobody can guarantee. Absolutely. And uh, all researchers understand that, but government have difficulty un understanding that. Okay, uh, next, uh, Olympic Games. Uh, there will be a lot of AI uh, during Olympic Games. Uh, so there are multiple applications. Uh, talent scouting, uh, NBC will be using AI. Okay, uh, this is an interesting example. There is a link for Twitter. So asked Claude to rewrite Python into C. Uh, result uh, got a C program, which is much faster. So it is 2.3 minutes versus original 63 minutes runtime. So, so th th this, is, this is really great. So I I if you have a Python uh, code which co does calculation and it does it slowly, you can just ask Claude, rewrite it into C and <laughs> see what will happen. Of course, you probably need to provide, also ask it to provide tests and to make sure that it actually calculates um, accurately what it's supposed to calculate. Okay, text to SQL survey. Um, models, uh, large language models, can convert a uh, natural language into SQL query, right? And some models are doing it better than others. And this is a great survey of different uh, models and data sets for benchmarks, prompt engineering, fine tuning methods, and so on. Uh, really great if you're interested in generating SQL. Okay, Alama now works with AMD GPU. My son called me very excited because the latest uh, Alama model supports AMD uh, uh, GPUs. Uh, he is using uh, 7900 uh, XTX, which is much cheaper than NVIDIA, has 24 gigabytes of uh, video memory, and he was able to run models pretty fast. Uh, so this, this is just a standard desktop GPU. And they have another model um, which has 48 gigabytes. It's about $3,000. But still, what it means that for a reasonably uh, reasonable amount of money, money, several thousand dollars, not hundred thousand dollars, not million dollars, but just few thousand dollars, you may have a computer which is fast and can run local models, like for example, Llama. 
uh, quantized of course but good quality and fast so th th this is great OpenAI utilizes the equivalent of 350,000 NVIDIA chips servers mainly for ChatGPT with discounted rates from Azure okay Apple has released 47 pages paper describing their AI so this is the link to this paper and it's a very interesting read to see uh, how they create the model, how they test the model, how they deploy the model, their philosophy and so on. Usually Apple is very secretive about the internals, so this uh, paper is very interesting. Okay, uh, Canva is acquiring Leonardo AI. Leonardo AI is an Australian startup, about 120 people, 19 million users. Canva has 10 times more million users <laughs> and it plans to integrate it. So it's uh, interesting. So companies merging. Hugging Face starts using NVIDIA NIM microservices to power inference of the popular AI models. So um, expected uh, up to five times uh, better token efficiency. And the Hugging Face uh, has like 4 million developers. Um, so this, this is a big deal that models suddenly will run five times faster, five times faster. Okay, uh, Meta Sum uh, 2. Sum stands for Segment Anything Model 2. This is amazing because um, you, you've seen models many years ago which can identify here is the car, here is the person, and then they were getting more and more precise and faster and faster. So this one works at a speed 44 frames per second. So it, <laughs> it can analyze and uh, segment uh, objects um, inside each frame in real time. And users can select objects uh, in videos and images using clicks, boxes, masks, and then the system will track them. Um, ab absolutely um, am amazing achievement. Uh, Jensen Huang and Mark Zuckerberg spoke in Denver. So there was a conference. It was on this week, July 29th. <clears throat> Very interesting conversation. It is on YouTube, about one hour. <clears throat> so Meta releases AI Studio to create um, AI characters. And so you can create your own character for communication. Shifting to generating personalized content on the fly, Jensen predicted a shift from uh, turn-based AI interactions to more fluid multi-option simulations. Both spoke about importance of AI in their company's developments. Uh, they also discussed AI potential to transform education, entertainment, and work through smart glasses. Um, very interesting conversation. Next, um, GPT-40 uh, long output. So new experimental model from OpenAI has output 64 kilo tokens. Um, this is very unusual because usually models can have uh, long input, but very short output. Output maybe 4K, maybe 8K, but now we have 64K, which is unheard of. Uh, price is reasonable and uh, yeah th th this is very interesting um, runway uh, gen 3 alpha so runway uh, is a company uh, which uh, from uh, 2018 they're here in manhattan new york and they generate a realistic video in seconds uh, from uh, text prompts uh, they're very well known, uh, it's state of the art, and uh, they released uh, their next generation model. Okay, Neural Magic releases fully quantized uh, version of Meta Llama 3145. So when you're quantizing the model down to reduce the memory requirements, you usually lose quality. And what they achieved is uh, something which doesn't uh, produce errors and to provide good quality. Uh, and th this is the link which describes it in detail. Uh, they are in uh, Massachusetts and they were found in 2018 by MIT professors. So th uh, th this is the link. Okay, um, Amazon testing their latest AI chip. It's called AWS Inferentia uh, for inference. Performance up to 50% higher than NVIDIA at half the cost. Uh, well, I, I don't know. It was uh, uh, reported by Reuters. Uh, 
coming from uh, Amazon, but uh, th there were no actual tests provided, so, so we don't know. But it's very exciting if it is true. Uh, beautiful AI video. I really like this. So let me let me show. Maybe you you can see on the screen uh, how it looks. I mean, it's really great. So this tweet, and I, I provide the link to it. Okay, uh, Cohere, uh, this is a company originally from Canada, but now they're also in the US. They raised half a billion dollars. So they are known for providing AI applications um, for enterprise. So they are very concerned about things like security, which is important for um, uh, enterprise, for, for big companies. And uh, one of the very common applications for businesses is RAG, of course. So they have their own uh, large language models, uh, RAG systems, three ranking system, and so on. So you see Toronto, San Francisco, London, New York uh, since 19. Uh, OpenAI could lose $5 billion this year. Uh, yes, they're making money but also they owe money and they're spending money and uh, here you have uh, calculations which show that they spend more than uh, they're making okay uh, mid journey uh, released a new version which again is much better than the previous one jeremy howard from australia released something beautiful as always, uh, he's an amazing guy, and he released something called Fast HTML, and uh, th this is their website, and uh, this is uh, uh, how you create uh, websites like this one, for example, using pure Python. Uh, <laughs> very, very exciting. He he, he provided um, about one hour lecture of how to use this system. Uh, it's it's open and uh, you're welcome to start using it. Okay, Llama 3.145b model was quantized using Excel 2. So Excel 2 is a method where different weights in the model are quantized differently. So some of them are quantized to two bits and some of them for five bits, uh, whatever, depending on how important uh, they are. So here the result is that um, you're getting uh, 125 to 150 gigabytes uh, model instead of maybe like 900 uh, gigabytes. So so th 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 this is this is really gr great. It outperforms Meta's distillation uh, uh, to 70 B. Uh, so EXL2 mixed up uh, quantization level with the same model, right? Okay, uh, Mark Zuckerberg inflection point. I already said, but this is his words. I believe the Llama 3.1 release will be inflection point in the industry where most developers begin to primarily pri primarily use open source, and I expect that approach to only grow from here. I hope you'll join us in this journey to bring the benefits of AI to everyone in the world. Okay, uh, next, uh, Microsoft, a local free multi-agent RAG. So the, this is the diagram where uh, they use uh, Microsoft Autogen and they use uh, Microsoft Graph RAG. Uh, and they also use uh, Chainlit as uh, like a web browser interface, like a front end. <clears throat> and you can build, uh, so it's all open source technologies. Uh, this is like Microsoft. So it's a graph rack, Autogen, Olama, and Chainlit. Uh, OpenAI talking uh, ChatGPT bot. OpenAI is launching a new AI voice chatbot powered by GPT 4.0 model with features that include natural fluent conversational capabilities. Uh, so, yeah, as I was saying, all models now getting their voice and their hearing and their vision. Uh, and it's getting better quality. Okay, uh, Intel is firing 15% of its personnel, which is about 15,000 jobs. And you see in August, and they announced it uh, just yesterday on August 1st. So you see a lot of firing uh, in August b because of Intel. Uh, well, other than that, uh, layoffs were generally lower. I guess Intel has a lot of competition from 
uh, other chip manufacturers and open source uh, like RISC-V. Anyway, uh, this is me as usual. Uh, thank you.